welcome loved ones thank you subscriber for subscribing liking and sharing our videos welcome new subscribers thank you all for supporting us everyone i'm reverend penelope stewart you can follow chemistry on facebook instagram and twitter please check out our new website and the courses that we offer i left the link below if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe and subscribe to our channel. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the most amazing experience uh, that's been uh, I've had on my spiritual journey, and I'm sure it's it's going to be an amazing experience for you as well. Uh, synchronicity. I love synchronicity. Once I began to work the Know Thyself program, the synchronicity, it just became unreal. It instantly, once I start working that program, I start having so much synchronicity. One event leading me to the next as I begin to work on myself and focus on myself. It's like living in a dream. It's difficult to put into words until you, you actually experience it. And I mean, I, I, I can't put it into words, so I thought I would do some research on it and come here and talk about uh, my experience with synchronicity and how important it is on your spiritual journey. I see it all the time. I wasn't seeing synchronicity like this before I start th started the Know Thyself program. I did not see the synchronicity. But once I start getting into me and trying to know more about me, my thinking, my patterns, my behaviors, uh, the synchronicity just, you know, it began. All right. Uh, it trips me out all the time. But let me dive in and discuss synchronicity and let's go over some of my little notes that i've i have here synchronicity are events connected to one another not by strict cause and effect but by what it what in classical times were known as sympathies by the belief that it, an a casual relationship exists between events on the inside and the outside of ourselves a crosstalk between the mind and matter which is governed by a certain species of attraction that's just that is exactly how it is that's why you can't really put it into words until you start living it everything on the inside of you Everything on the outside of you is going on the inside of you. Nothing is happening without you participating in it in some way. Once you go down this journey and you start looking at things, you everything is responding to you. Everything around you is responding to you. All right? That's why getting to know yourself is so important. So you can start enjoying shifting your paradigm, as I call it. For many awakening souls, the phenomena of synchronicity provides a direct and unmistakable encounter with the mysteries of spirit of the spiritual realm. And you surely do come in contact with spirit. Once the synchronicity begin, begins, you come in contact with spirit because spirit is your your experience is spirit leading you on your journey. You getting closer and closer to your manifestation so to speak because the experience has a particular meaning to the individual involved it has the power to open a portal to the world of meaning which is the world of the soul and wisdom teachings through a dramatic convergence of internal and external realms in time and space a kind of rending of the veil occurs for the one experiencing it it is if a wormhole into the realm of soul and the invisible dimensions of universe suddenly appear it's like looking at things that other people can't can't see that's what it's like when when you first start experiencing synchronicity it was like that for me and i felt like something different happened it was an integration with spirit happened once i started 
experiencing this synchronicity it was like something was different something different happened within me once i started working this program and did that integration with spirit something different just happened i, I can't even put it into words the invisible subtle dimension of spirit that is the closest to our personalities on the other side of the veil is the realm of the soul a realm technically related to the higher dimensions of mind but but one which also provide access to the plane of higher intuition. Your intuition will heighten once you start doing the integration with spirit. Like I said, the Know Thyself program really helped me because it, I, I had to focus on my intentions, correct some behavior patterns and thinking. And the more I did that, the more my spiritual talents and the more I had a more closer relationship with spirit. So, so many things happen when we really get into ourselves and really start focusing on ourselves and doing the inner work that we need to do to really make that big step and evolve because that's that's evolving doing that kind of work is evolving your soul it's evolving your uh, emotions it's evolving your um your mind you're evolving on so many different levels while the personality exists in a world of constantly changing circumstances and events the soul dwells in a world of meaning from the perspective of the soul the world of outer circumstances is a kaleidoscopic kaleidoscopic collection of symbols everything that we experience on the material plane is symbolic of something hidden within the deeper folds of our consciousness isn't it something that's just oh you know it goes deep so we're gonna have a deep conversation today i hope you guys are ready <laughs> you know this stuff runs really really deep and lately well i'm gonna get into that i don't want to skip ahead too far because I wanted to talk about this synchronicity because lately it's just been whoa. And I did more research on trying to figure out, okay, what is going on with these synchronicities? Why am I really experiencing it on this, you know, so much more frequently now? A lot, you know, it really trips me out. But I, I'm going to get into that as I go on with these notes. Uh, your soul is always multitasking to... to to create new experiences for you. If you observe how you move through life, you will understand doing this allows many people to clear their issues by writing their story as a catharsis of their experiences here. That's what happened to me. I started writing about my experience, my life experience. Uh, things, I, I, when I did that, things began to shift. When I first began, that things begin to really shift. The higher, the higher and clearer your frequency and intent, the faster you manifest synchronicities. You can consider an event synchronistic when an inner experience, such as a as a dream, vision, or other forms of deja vu, prepares you for a physical event. That's what's been happening here lately. I've been dreaming of deja vu's, and I was telling my fiance that in the car we were getting ready to go somewhere, and I was like, I've been having these weird dreams, and he was like, What? And I was like, I've been having a lot of deja vu's, you know. And right when I was telling him that. I was experiencing a deja vu while we was driving. I was like, like now, like now. It was freaking him out. It was freaking me out. He was like, what you mean now? I was like, I'm having a deja vu moment right now. I dreamed this. I dreamed this. You know, it, it means something. I know for me, deja vus and things like that, I know that marks a significant, it's like a bookmark in my life. It's a bookmark for something, an event that's about to happen. You know, so it's preparing me for something. So I had a deja vu and it just really tripped me out. And then doing this research, I was just like, whoa, now I'll make sense. You know, all these synchronicities. Boy, you know, if you're having a spiritual awakening, you're going to experience this. You, you, I promise you're going to, it's undeniable. You're really, if you're having a true spiritual awakening, you're going to experience synchronicity. I experienced that right off the bat. 
right off the bat. People told me that I would experience it, but until I started experiencing it myself, I was like, oh my gosh, I, oh my gosh, this is, this is what it is, you know, to understand how synchronicities work is the understand the nature of reality. It is in fact a computer generated hologram in which characters and events created our program experiences that on this level of conscious are perceived as real. Because the more you, you, because I question reality now. I question reality because it don't seem real. The synchronicity is so frequent and it's just, it's no coincidence. It's no coincidence. So it just makes it seem like what is real, you know, what is real once you start experiencing this synchronicity. For those of you who have, you know, are truly having a spiritual awakening, you know what I'm talking about. For those of you that's, that's trying to spiritually awaken and do the inner work, this is what it's really like. You know, this one's my one of my favorite parts as well because I know I'm 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 constantly connected. It says it's all science and math set in linear time to experience emotions. The hologram in physical reality follows the numeric codes of the Fibonacci sequence or golden ratio. The brain is a computer run by binary code, which aligns with the hologram's grid of the of experience. And this and here lately, I've been wondering why I've been seeing one one one, two two two, three three three, four four four, one one one, nine uh nine three three, one one three three. Every time I look at the time. It is those times. No matter where I'm at in the kitchen, it's on the clock, it's in my car. I'm all every time I look at the time, I'm seeing those those one ones, two twos, three threes, four fours. And I'm like, and when I buy some things, it'll come up to like three three three. You know, four four four. So I'm like blown away in so much synchronicity and it just like it doesn't seem real. It just doesn't seem real. I, it's, it's so hard to put into words until you experience it. Synchronicities bring people to crystal links, which takes them on all sorts of journeys into awareness. Many people come here looking for a numeric code, 11, which is a part of the binary code, 0, 1, 10, 11, 100, 101, 110, 111. And the Fibonacci sequence, 01, 11, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. Oh my gosh, so I've experienced, he said, as all is a mathematical algorithm. Okay, there's an algorithm. There's an algorithm to this. And I've been experiencing so. When we get on, when we start seeing these numbers, basically what they're saying, we're on a different frequency. There is a lot of shifting going on. You go into a higher frequency once you once you experience these numbers. You're locked into the to the program. You really understand. Once you do the integration, you really understand spirit. You really understand the power of your mind. Once that happens, because like I tell, uh, like I say, I feel totally different once I start working this program and did that integration with spirit. And it happened like in phase two of the program. It just, you know, I feel a closer connection with spirit and all types of synchronicity start happening. I had a woman to when I questioned my higher power about going on a shamanic path i had a woman to come from florida out of nowhere i didn't know this woman she bought me a shamanic dagger it was just so many uh synchronicities that spirit was leading me and showing me about my spiritual path it was undeniable all right synchronicities are uh, pre-programmed experiences that occur when one's dna is programmed for a specific event in time something happens you react you think this is a coincidence. 
I must investigate further. You do. Then more synchronicities occur. And you are suddenly following an exciting line of action and reaction. Your soul is sending you on a journey. And that's the way it is. Once I start dealing with my old patterns and behaviors and adjusting myself and responding differently... Oh my gosh, I'm just on the path. I, I just follow spirit. I don't know what's going to happen from one minute to the next, but it is a beautiful journey because I'm, I'm following spirit. I'm always being rewarded with something when I follow, just follow the signs and follow the synchronicity. Today's journey seemed to be all about healing and, and energy. The ultimate goal is to understand that we are projected illusions in a hologram that is evolving back to the consciousness and light, not pseudo science but science i believe that i believe that i really believe that that this is what's going on synchronicities are patterns that repeat in time synchronicity refers to gears or wheels of time though the actual concept of synchronicity cannot be scientifically proven one can only record synchronicities as they occur and watch the pattern and behavior that create them the concept of synchronicity is currently linked more to metaphysics yet physics quantum physics that's what I say about metaphysics It's quantum physics it is quantum. It is quantum physics. Once you, you we know more about ourselves, and we're able to respond uh, to things differently. Differently, the universe respond differently. We start getting the results that we want, like the law of attraction. Once we make the proper alignment or adjustment, it's quantum physics. And metaphysics are emerging, thus showing their interconnection, how we manifest synchronicities in our lives. I just said that. I'm like, I'm blown away by this. You know, I'm blown away uh, by the synchronicities. They just keep on happening. The more I work this program, it's been over a year since I worked this program. I bought a house. I've learned about my spiritual journey. I did so much more healing. I see more things in the spiritual realm now. I have a more, it's more spiritual centered. I was always spiritual, but this, the integration just makes it different. It's just, I can't put it in the words. Now, more than ever, synchronicities are people, places, or events that your soul attracts in, into your life to help you evolve to higher consciousness or to place emphasis on something going on in your life. The more consciously aware you become or how your soul manifests, the higher your frequency becomes and the faster you manifest positively. Each day your life encounters meaningful coincidence, synchronicities that you have attracted on, on other words created in the grid of your experiences in the physical. So create synchronicities played out in the physical. It is why you are here. It is how our reality works. That's why I think the higher power comes in at because your higher power knows your plan. You can call it the soul, your higher self, whatever you want to call it, guardian angel. It knows your purpose. And so it, it guides you on these synchronicities once you learn how to tap into it. Because what the program taught me is how to tap into my higher power and show me how to use it to work for me in my life. Because at first I was self-sabotaging. I wasn't letting my high power spirit really lead me. I didn't really know how to work it. I had these other patterns and behaviors that I needed to work on first. But now that I really know how it works, whoa, you know, synchronicity city, okay? It's just everywhere synchronicities may simply occur just to make a point don't blow them out of proportion i see them all i see them so frequent now that they don't really freak me out as much but the ones that's been happening lately because i've been dreaming of deja vu and i just knew it when i just knew i was dreaming of deja vus the way I don't I guess that guess the way my mind was working in the dream and then when I got to talking about it, you know, 
I was having a deja vu as I talked about it to my fiance. So it's really, I guess I'm going to a different frequency. I don't know. Maybe it's just that blood moon eclipse energy or whatever. Maybe I'm, I'm getting some downloads or light calls or whatever. But, you know, that was just like, wow. You must look at the bigger picture of synchronicity. Think outside the box, the patterns of reality, not the actual experience. There's some patterns. You know, there's a pattern. I'm looking at the patterns. So many good things have happened to me uh, since I did my integration. I call it the integration uh, a, a decision. You know, I'm steady. The more I work this program and look at myself, and see what I need to work on, do my self-development and grow in certain areas, the more synchronicity I experience and more things that I want in my life are coming closer to me. You know, so many things are just going so good uh, in my life since I started the program. You have been feeling ill. Uh, one of the examples, and this was for me. This is what's, what happened to me, how I really started my healing journey. Uh, my healing journey, oh, I have to fix it because that fell off here. Uh, you have been feeling ill with no clear diagnosis. You meet someone who knows a doctor or a healer with the answers. There was no diagnosis for me. I just had this stiff shoulder syndrome. I couldn't move my neck. They really didn't know what was wrong with me. They, they gave me cortisone shots. Uh, they sent me to, uh, to ther therapy, physical therapy. But there was really no real answer to what was going on with all this pain and aching that I was having. Uh, it's not until my sister gave me a call and we were really trying to figure out what was going on with our family dynamics. She did a little research and it was just like a sludge hammer coming down. All physical problems stem from emotional issues. We had emotional issues. Once I started dealing with those emotional issues, all that began to alleviate as soon as I started working the program. Your soul will point out the patterns and hopefully the solutions. That's what's going on with me now. It's a continuous healing journey. I'm always learning something different about myself every day. Some, some things I didn't know that were going on with me. When the person is ready to heal, the doctor will be there. That person will often show up by synchronicity. And that's exactly how this program showed up to me. It showed up by synchronicity. This all stems from various levels of depression and self-sabotage stemming from one's DNA, which was me, comes from my DNA. It was some of that transgenerational trauma reenacting itself out in my family dynamics or life experiences that have worn them down. When you are confused and in emotional pain, you either have trouble manifesting synchronicities. So if you're having problems and you're in emotional pain, uh, you're not going to, you probably need to do some inner work. You know, you're going to have problem manifesting synchronicities or you're, uh, or you're in a major lesson right now. You have to learn this major lesson in order to experience synchronicity. So if you're not experiencing synchronicities, that's probably what, that's what was going on with me. John believed that synchronicities mirror, mirror deep psychological processes, carry messages the way dreams do, and take on meaning, provide guidance to the degree they correspond to emotional states and inner experiences. And I believe the same thing. And synchronicities have certainly been messages guiding divine guidance for me i thought i would come here and talk about synchronicities with you today uh, now we have if you're interested in the know thyself uh, program and you want to start experiencing synchronicities and you think that you need some healing need to do some any work we have a new platform now you can sign up for our know thyself course work it to your own pace it's completely online. I'll leave a link here if you're interested in registering and starting a class on your own. Um, what else I had to say? 
And you can check out our new website as well if you're interested in our in, uh, in our intuitive services because I do intuitive readings as well. But thank you so much for being here today. Light and love. May the ancestors be with you.